Good afternoon, everyone. Hey, guys, this is Bruce Marshall from Simpler Trading with the nightly market update for Wednesday, January the 11th. Happy New Year if you didn't see last week's video. Uh, hope everybody is having a great start to the year and great trading. Um, we had another, I've got the uh, ES here on the chart. Um, Another kind of crazy move today, as you can see, this is the NASDAQ here. And I mean, we were off to the races, the ES off to the races and just higher, 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 higher into the end of the day, all the way to that 3990 level. Um, kind of crazy this morning, early, you know, pre-market. Let me back this thing up so you can see it here. Give me a second. Um, pre-market we were you know we were chopping down here down here I mean that's 3950 and I was running numbers and look at this going uh, I had a level at 3955 and I said you know if we take that out um, had some Fibonacci levels and I said if we take that out you know there's a the numbers the math said we could go to 4000 and at that time I was like eh, I don't know that's a long long way and guess what you know, we almost got there. Now that's ES. There's a there's a big difference between ES and SPX currently on this contract. The SPX closed at 39.61, um, so you know about 30 point difference there. Uh, but still, you know, they track they tracked the same direction, all that kind of stuff, right? Um, so big big move up. And why is this move happening? Because we have CPI tomorrow on the 12th before the open tomorrow so um, obviously the market is anticipating a a weaker a cooler CPI number look at this there's a five-day chart and as you can see um, 38 19 up up and away catch our breath up up and away just you know higher 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 um, so that tells me one of two things either well it tells me the market is is anticipating a a better number and the odds favor that because the last two numbers have been um, have been better and what I mean better we're in a um, I'll show you real quick we are in a so here is the trajectory of CPI it's increasing this is inflation it's getting higher 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 well the last two numbers came in kind of up here kind of the same a little bit better we get another number comes in lighter and he, you know the next one's lighter next one's lighter next one's lighter that means inflation is coming back down good for the market the fed will back off of raising interest rates and all that kind of stuff you know presumably but um but anyway that's that in in my opinion what's going on and um and it makes sense again the last two numbers were came in a little bit better than expected slightly but that's all it takes um, so as we look at this on a let's go out to a 20 day chart here and the market's been really really crazy as we know I mean it's you know straight down straight up straight down straight up just chaotic you know really 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 hard to trade this stuff because it's all over the place but we were in a range here kind of back and forth back and forth in a range and we're breaking out to the upside here and I think we ultimately if we have a reasonable number tomorrow we it comes in CPI comes in in line or better than expected we're probably going to go up here to our voodoo fire line at 4100 now that's ES it's uh, 4083 on the uh, SPX but let me show you what that looks like on a one-year chart and that would get us you know back up to here and then from there you know I don't know what happens because and that that is very possible in the next couple of days um, what typically does happen when you get a big move like that then you get follow through and you get follow through and you get follow through and you get kind of one of these kind of moves or one of these kind of moves or one of these kind of moves or this um, then maybe it's followed by this on the other side you know maybe we come up here and then we continue this to the downside I don't know uh, there are some very smart people that are thinking we're going to go a lot lower um, and I could see that happening with an event with a hot you know really hot CPI number inflation is not under control it's going 
you know, it's it's kicking, flaring up again, all that kind of stuff. Um, bad, the Fed's going to do this or this, and or the Fed continues its pretty aggressive stance on we're going to keep raising rates no matter what, that kind of thing. Not going to be good for the market. Um, then you couple all that with earnings that are coming up. I mean, earnings season really kicks off Friday. Um with some of the banking stocks so the next two three weeks gonna be a lot of earnings come out and then on february the first we have the fed meeting so the fed will at that point tell us what they're thinking from all of the data and cpi and ppi and all this other stuff that comes in and then we'll know so it's very important tomorrow because this can set the trajectory for either you know more upside or more downside this is i don't think this is uh going to be a non-event i think it's going to be pretty big one way or the other and again i think i i do have a bullish trade on uh targeting that level right there it's pretty pretty straightforward uh for next friday so we'll see uh, but you know other than that i am very flat very light on trades and all that kind of stuff um there's just no reason to stand, you know, on the train tracks and play if you know a train is coming, right? And tomorrow is the first train, and the second one is Tuesday with uh, PPI, and then the big train is going to be, you know, the Fed on uh, uh, Fed Day on um, February 1st. So we'll trade this thing day by day. If uh, if you are a, a member of Simpler Trading, then you we do all this together real time every day and all that kind of stuff. If you're not, come check us out. Uh, we have some great traders in our trading rooms. You can come trade with me. I'm in two different trading rooms there and uh, the main room and uh, I have a room called Bias where I trade um, every day as well. So anyway, that's what I've got for us. Uh, now we're in holding mode. We wait and see what happens tomorrow, get the reaction and then uh, pick back up with more trades on, you know, tom even tomorrow afternoon, Friday. Uh, once we see what's going to happen. So thanks for the time. I appreciate it. I hope that makes sense and helps. Be careful out there. It's going to have a whippy market for sure. Um, but we'll see what happens. So thanks, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care. Without simpler trading, I could not have financial independence. This is one of the best investments that I ever made in my life. It's helping me find consistency. It's one of the things that won me